today's writing idea, we have uh, three as usual. So uh, Pentamaster um, is our pick for today. Um, Quant scoring, uh, Quant score is 7.02 uh, using uh, um, quality <coughs> um, style. And if you take a look, um, the reading for the Pentamaster, the trend is still pretty much on the uptrend. On, on the note that the stock is actually breaking above this, the red line here, represented by the 80-day moving average, and we see a subsequent higher low structure was formed over the past few weeks. Now, the pullback that we saw earlier was pretty much capped by 33-day moving average, suggesting there's a plenty of the interest uh, coming in within this particular level. If you look on your left over here, there's a, there's a volume profile. And this actually could translate into um, what we call that resistance turn into a support level. So because of that, we think the breakout earlier has completed something that we call a return move. And uh, yesterday gap up on a bad high trading volume. It has pretty much kick start a new up cycle for the stock. And um, the RSI seem to be bouncing off the 60 point mark and its long term average line indicating momentum is actually stronger. Uh, D trend is actually pushing upward as well. So the net resistance should be at 545 cent and 595 cent with the cut loss below 475 cent. In terms of risk to ratio, it is uh, attractive with 1 to 2.6. For, which means 6.5% downside risk against 17% upside potential. All right, moving into second trading idea would be a cloud point. A technology cloud point technology has been highlighted in Traders Almanac back in uh, 9 May. And the stock is actually gained about 28.5%, uh, rising above our second target at 83 cents. So at the stock peak at um, the high F88 said we see a subsequent uh, decline or corrective move, but the decline was pretty much kept. Right within this line, 33 day moving average, keeping the new or the con uh, the ongoing high low structure pretty much intact. So that uh, uptrend still pretty much in play. Um, another thing that we, I think you should be considering is if you look on the right side here, the previous I said uh, within at 49 mark. Uh, point mark and the next would be is 45 points which which means this creating a new lower low structure however the price is creating higher low structures so this is uh, something that we call a hidden bullish divergence hidden bullish divergence of a signal a continuation of the ongoing trend and because of that we uh, continue to uh, highlight the stock we reiterate our technical buy with a new and higher target at 88 cent and 99 cent with the cut loss has been revised higher at 72 and a half cent in terms of risk to reward ratio is attractive 1 to 2.8 which means 8.8 percent .8, uh, downside risk again 24.5 percent upside potential um, there's no coin scoring for the clock point technology last but not least uh, would be dps so DPS also has been highlighted in earlier trading almanac on 13 June. The stock gained about 8.36 percent, approaching our first target at 90, 59 and a half yesterday. But if you look on the current trend, this new higher high structure was formed. Trading volume continued to improving. Momentum continued gearing up uh, above what we call that 65 point mark. That means momentum stay pretty much strong. So we are expecting the trend to continue to trade higher. We seen some a little bit of the uh, resistance within the current level, but uh, an ability to take out the current level should actually prolong the ongoing um, rally toward the next resistance target at 63 and a half cent and 70 and a half cent with the cut loss, it will be revised higher at 53 and a half cent. It means a risk to ratio is quite attractive at uh, 1 to 2.4, 8.5% downside risk, again, 20.5% upside potential.